So here we have a model of the human brain. It is approximately to scale, and the features that we can see on it are accurate. And I just want to use it to illustrate to you some of the regions of the brain which we know are involved in movement control. And of course, therefore, that involves uh, regions of the brain which can go wrong in Parkinson's disease. So to give you some orientation, here is the front and here is the back. If I pick the brain up and show you the undersurface, you can see here the brain stem like a stalk attaching the main part of the brain to the spinal cord. And this also allows me to illustrate to you one of the main parts of the brain that has been associated with movement control. That is this brown structure shown here, and that is called the cerebellum. Now I can remove that from our model. If I now show you the outside surface again, this outer covering is known as the cortex, and part of the cortex has also been implicated in movement control. If we start about halfway back in the brain and look a little further forward from that, there are stripes on either side of the brain in both hemispheres which contain neurons that have strong connections with motor function. Now, If I take these parts off, we can see something about the structure that's within the brain. If I just tip that forward you can see that there are structures not visible from the outside, but that form the kind of core, if you like, of the brain. Now, there are structures in here which are also closely associated with movement control. If I remove all of the outer covering, we get right down into the core of the brain. And you can see here the structures coming up through the brainstem and seamlessly joining with these structures. If I remove these bits here, what you can see is these structures which are colored red in this model just to emphasize them. Now these structures represent a group of structures and this group is collectively known as the basal ganglia and the basal ganglia are also going to be very important to us when we're thinking about movement control in this course. 